All right, I'm going to say it. Melina sucks. I thought I was doing well in this fight, and then quite quickly, it went the exact opposite way. Oh, shit. Clearly, by my facial expression, you can tell I was not expecting that. So, this is the average Melania experience in a nutshell. I'm a simple caveman, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below on how you did with your fight against Melania. But now that that's over, let's get into the actual video. So, if you want to fight Melania, you have to go to the Hallig Tree, which there's a long explanation on how to go to the Hallig Tree. You have to get the two Hallig Tree halves, go down, go across the frozen ice, do a little puzzle, and then you can get to the Hallig Tree through the teleporter at uh, the One City. But that's not the point. I'm the point is that, as I'm sure many of you know, she <laughs> is the hardest boss in the game Holy with shit. out it out. Now, the amount of times I died to her is just not even funny. I know I'm not the best player in the world. Without a doubt, I'm not the best player at all. I kind of suck at this game. But she is so hard compared to every other boss where I would at least get through them in like two, three, like five tries. Her, it took me at least 50 tries plus. Die. And the sad part is Die. I was also using stuff that's kind of broken in a way in this game. Like... I was using a mostly oh, magic boy. build. No, that stuff is usually supposed to be easy. I broker for but a second. Yeah, that was not the case for Melina. She just has so many one-shot type moves that if you fail, you're uh, kind of just screwed. If you can't time that dodge, you're done for. And on this one, it actually shows perfectly because I get to there the second go. stage, and I literally right, we got die in the stage. first two seconds and this part's bad it's crazy oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. and it's just so annoying in so many ways i can't even begin to describe how aggravated i was with this fight against melina anytime i would just make one simple mistake i would be done i would be done i would just be dead it didn't matter i didn't have enough health to tank it i, I don't know if you could even have enough health to really tank it she just one shots you a lot of the time if you just make a single mistake and it's so annoying i even had i'm done tish the whole time helping me so that it would draw away some of the attacks and i would still struggle which that's partially like six tries suck, in like but six minutes. she also is just a really hard boss i last a minute against her tops what did he say <laughs> so all in all do i recommend fighting millennia yes because not, I didn't feel very accomplished after I beat her, but let's just say that took a while. But once I did, I, it, it was worthwhile, and you get a very good weapon out of it because the whole waterfall dance thing that she does where she does that huge thing and it kind of, yeah, if you get stuck in it, you're dead. You get that weapon, and you get that Ash of War on it, so it is a really good weapon, and that scales with Dex if you want to know. So if you get that weapon, that's good with Dex. But that whole move right I'm there dead, that she's doing right now. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Where, uh, yeah, she just kind of killed me. Um, that is a really good Ash of War. People spam it all the time because, you know, it's annoying. But oh anyway, my God. <laughs> she's a definitely oh worthwhile God. fight. Oh my God, oh But my she's God. also definitely a very okay, hard fight. Your still ain't working. But then finally, after attempt, after attempt, after attempt, I finally got this attempt. Where I actually killed her. And I'll speed it up just so you can get the general idea of how lucky I got at the end. I thought I was not going to get it. I thought I was going to be really close but fail. But I did get it. So after how long of trying to beat Melania, I finally got it. And yes, it was a struggle. Yes, it was hard. Do I recommend though? Yes, I do. Because you get a great weapon out of it. And it's just a very rewarding feeling when you once you beat the hardest boss in the game and one tip i definitely do give is if you can figure out her first stage without a doubt her second stage is definitely so much easier just because she gets that much slower in the second stage and it becomes a lot easier to fight her when she's a little slower you just got to be able to dodge that huge flower thing she does every now and then in the second stage but otherwise her second stage is a lot easier and more manageable than her first stage is in my opinion without a doubt but that's probably the best tip i can give besides also just like don't use a shitty build if no. you use a bad Jeez, build you are going to I'm struggle screwed. i'm screwed 
I'm screwed. I'm screwed. Heesh is the only reason I've lived this long. But with all that being said, there it is. I finally beat her. Maybe, maybe. Now, after all of this, if you're wondering, well, I want to fight her, but I don't think I'm high enough level. Well then, click this video that I'm going to put on screen right now, because that's where I'm going to teach you exactly how to level up quicker in Elden Ring. But to be honest, she was easy. Ha! <laughs>